Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Tafazul and I'm trying to sound very energetic. My move. I don't know what I'm doing. 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 The fasting stuff is getting heavy on me. Still, it's really, you know, manageable. Look, I'm not sure. ठीक है मौसम मौसम ठीक है but still like to speak you know यार नहीं है अच्छा इंट्रो नहीं है भाई हाय आई एम मोहम्मद उसान आजम एंड अलोंग विद मी इस तफसुल मत्तू एंड दिस इज अवर सेकंड एपिसोड of of a podcast mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah this this is the type of introduction I want you know a really formal one you know material one <laughs> uh, what do you have to say about it like we talked about crit criticism was beforehand a, and was a good you know you want a good introduction yeah very. yeah this <laughs> claps for me <laughs> so finally yeah so, so not an introvert right. I don't know. What kind of intro? You know, artists are intro. <laughs> intro, <laughs> no. <laughs> and leave, leave that. And so, uh, what do you want to talk about? क्या किस विषय पे चर्चा करनी है? किस विषय पे? हम बात करना चाहेंगे. We'll talk about art mediums. Mediums. Yeah. Okay. Mediums like. The materials we use, okay. and it will be specific to paintings. Maybe we can extend. You can extend. Yeah, uh, we can one. like uh, you know relate it with uh, different. Relate or extend? Different, you know? Yeah, different yeah. arts, but it will be uh, specific and revolved around the mm -hmm. paintings. Okay, <laughs> so uh, we uh, talked about that. Uh, uh, variables of criticism last time. Yeah. Uh, this is really going fixed, you know, talking about variables and factors and regulations. But just, you know, uh, like you talked about the formalist uh, side mm. to it. And this talking about medium is a, you know, formal criticism. Okay. So this we will talk about the medium and the, the way, the in between thing. So I think uh, you should start. Uh, yeah, how is it was like brought and. How it yeah, changed, how it, came, how how it, it has changed. different movements. Yeah. So, I so think let's start with Renaissance. <coughs> no, I think we'll start with the fuzzle. <laughs> leave leave Renaissance. No, we'll start from here, from okay. this, this space. And well, I started with charcoal. Okay. Because it was, you know, dark, dramatic. Yeah. And I like dark and dramatic art. You know, like. Dark and dramatic, yeah. Yeah, so I started with charcoal. And then I tried watercolors. Okay. Which I didn't get. Watercolors. I find them very difficult to handle. Okay. They go all chaotic. Yeah. Soak jayega jaldi. Okay. So it was too much for me. Then... I think you introduced me to oil. Maybe. Yeah, we did a session before. Yeah. And yeah, I liked it. I love oil okay. and so oil and you know charcoal, charcoal. and this. They fight probably. I mean, yeah, the like pencil I'm, and you know. I'm like uh, okay with these mediums. That's why I prefer these okay, mediums. Okay, so you and have a bit. Of I have tried acrylic and. You know, other water-based mediums, but I'm really not <laughs> good with them. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about yours. Your my medium. My contrast. Like, if if you see, uh, if you look, uh, uh, look to me, and what do you find my mediums are? Like this whole thing is a sort of medium. You know, if you talk about this current medium, it's this camera and the documented thing happening here. You know. I'm talking the about the <laughs> mediums you use in your paintings. I'll leave painting. Why, why I just, uh, you know, conceive yourself to that particular thing. Okay, still, considering my painting, you know, I ha in terms of painting, I've been a very um, versatile painter, you know, mm -hmm. in the past. 
I mm-hmm. have tried every bit of painting mediums there are, like oils, mm-hmm. acrylics, watercolors, and even sometimes this charcoal. Sometimes, yeah, mm-hmm. and that's how it is. You know, gouache and every every sort of every bit. There of are some. many water-based mediums now. Gouache is there. No, not uh, many. Acrylic gouache. Poster. And, uh, poster. Poster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah poster too nice. So yeah. Yeah, so coming back to the thing we were discussing, like if we talk about the Renaissance period, like we will go back in history, yeah, okay. just just a bit. Then we should go to uh, you know caves. Caves. <laughs> I don't know what they used. They used caves. probably you know some kuch, some secret, you know, some kufia. <laughs> and that is the whole uh, the mystery point of it. Blood, animal blood, I guess. I don't know. Not sure. But how would it survive? Animal Kya blood and uh, I don't animal think blood was animal blood. <laughs> Color, it <laughs> pigment. Hoga, there were koi. pigment like they made it, you know, and pigment. You were more. So, yeah, and then we um, go, you know, come closer to uh, the current period, and you're talking about Renaissance. Yeah, then yeah, hieroglyphics. You missed that as well. Yeah. <laughs> so we we won't go in that much of history. So let's start with, <clears throat> which is very known. <coughs> known isms, you know. Known periods. Known periods like Renaissance period. Okay. Okay. So, Mona Lisa was, I guess, in Renaissance period. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'll check my facts. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Mona Lisa is in oil. You know, the first time mm-hmm. um, Da Vinci uh, mm. painted. You know, he introduced certain techniques, glazing, scumbling. Mm. You know, there is a work that work that there. Mm. So there is a work. You know, which is I uh, intervened myself into that uh, classical approach of scumbling and glazing, mm. where you mix paint uh, without. Uh, you know, involve involvement of physical uh, formal factors. Take. It is actually visual mixing. You know, <coughs> like uh, light mixes those colors and creates that type of transparency. Take, take, take. Yeah. So was that painted in layers? They they used to paint yeah. in layers. And they used to take very uh, like good amount of time. Yeah, like oil is known for you know that anti hedonism which we were talking about. Hmm. So if we put um, into oil like in contemporary oil paintings or not in contemporary mm. like now or in modern time like painters like John Singer Sargent they started um, a thing even we will come to impressionism yeah, we'll come and to they that. started a technique called a la prima so mm. that is a um, you know a more post uh, oil technique where mm. you paint in one sitting or you know all in wet in wet yeah so that's where anti uh, that that's where hedonism along with modern art comes mm. so so yeah mona lisa was painted in several layers like and that's the used mystery. to i think it was painted in years yeah in lots of years actually the scumbles you know the mm. opaque glazing it's called scumbles mm. scumbling and that's how it and there are other like paintings i really like like the mm. last supper and okay no, yeah. these were in the renaissance period and they introduced the depth in their paintings yeah, actually glazing is a very you know uh, popular they introduced the perspective the depth yeah. the, the shadows mm-hmm. so there was a the field of Titan vision. and Michelangelo Caravaggio mm. like they have their own separate um, you know individualism mm. uh, one was using um, rich reds and rich blues mm. then there was one who was uh, playing with shadows hmm. and creating a such sort of shadows. Their you know? movement is actually a different. It's called Baroque. Okay. Yeah. So, so Caravaggio, you know, yeah, the, word, the Ruben, connected Michelangelo. shadows. Um, you know what connected shadows are called? What? Uh, the connection of shadows. Um, connection of shadows. Yeah, the shadows and how it plays. You know, I just forgot the word. Kairoscuro, Kairoscuro. Okay. So it's called Kairoscuro. What's Kairoscuro? Kairoscuro is, a, you know, that <laughs> connection of shadows. Not just connection, but that particular uh, sensible use of darks. Hmm. 
okay you know where the light uh molds from highlights to yeah now we do terms. design shadows as well yeah they have to be designed yeah know. obviously and shadows are more connected as compared to highlights yeah so coming further like this is all history is really boring to me <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> like uh functioning as, no, so we were discussing about the <laughs> mediums and yeah. we started with the renaissance they used oils so then when was the other mediums introduced like acrylics acrylics is like a recent you know a contemporary medium is it a like, contemporary medium yeah we can say it's a contemporary medium like i don't know exactly okay. but it's, it's been like 30 years 20 years or even 15 years we were introduced to it okay you know uh, uh like during pop art and you know american um okay that's around like, 1960s around 70s and 70s. so 80s so that's where uh, with the use of um, chemical technology acrylics mm-hmm. were introduced but we had uh, watercolors yeah watercolor is a classical medium you know sergeant uh, sergeant john sergeant singer used uh, to sergeant paint was in a good watercolorist he used to paint in watercolors so, yeah. if you talk about just <coughs> painting you know paintings uh, the mediums you know uh, drafts men ships uh, the mediums they use mm. the drafters those sort of mediums uh, were like if we think in a very wider way they started from caves you know the lines and things mm. you know if we talk about uh, the 2d uh, the visual um, works mm. so that was uh, from time of caves and if we come closer if we um, go from art to arts Mm. if we conclude um, theater you know films uh, then there was a very heavy medium camera mm. so camera was a very huge medium uh, introduced uh, in the you know um, upsurge of modern art and later came uh, more mediums like um, uh, body and land actually certain uh, there were certain isms you know certain movements uh, like um, land art body art performance art mm. you know art a pouvra mm. say for instance and like photorealism <clears throat> they actually started from um, um being a movement being a a, a collective surge but mm. ended rather being a sort of genre or a medium mm. and now in contemporary we uh, say like installation more of a medium rather than a ism or a school of you know a school of collective masses so that's yeah. how it's uh, past you know mm. uh, the media the timelines yeah so yeah. that's uh, where certain more uh, mediums uh, were generated by mm. certain uh, mm. you know uh, avant-garde forces mm. so that was introduction of more uh, contemporary mediums mm. and then there is one more contemporary medium which is called as you know data and internet so that is a very you know right now medium today we have very yeah. vast number of mediums that we can like think yeah. of like yeah, if you think we we'll get tired uh, of using them all so yeah so uh, i went a bit uh, more <coughs> wider you know like the rivers you know there is jhelum then there is ganga you mm. know maybe for somebody jhelum is more pleasing and more uh, any sort of thing and but f- right now i'm using it as you know a vast sense mm. like if, like if i go ganga right now mm. um it would be like you know calling a gallery space a medium as well you know if i go more uh, wide with the term medium gallery is a medium you don't yeah. think so if mm. we put a piece of a sculpture there mm. it's a medium between you and the consumer of that particular piece of work if we uh, go more wider like if we go from ganga to you know indian ocean mm-hmm. we can say that time can be a medium as well space is a medium and coming to space we can go to the body and the performances and more things so okay. i don't know i i think we should come from we indian ocean to, back to we should stick to oils <laughs> we should come back to you know our local the lake okay there are some <laughs> like movements or yeah. you can say, like they are also known as art styles yeah which i'm really like interested to know more about for example uh, one big through which was like completely a uh, different style of painting which was like the movement of impressionism okay yeah we actually <coughs> uh, talked about a uh, bit about modern art in our hmm. last hmm. such this sort of discussion hmm. and we uh, certainly skipped this part 
the huh. impression I think breaking the rules started from that moment no actually uh, rules were the same i guess you know in certain um, terms like uh-huh. painting was the same they still used to paint on canvases hmm. but there was a certain bit of exceptional uh, ship uh, manship like uh, monet like they used to yeah crop they, the like uh, their paintings used to look like they have cropped it yeah then they they started like, painting like we on like take screenshots yeah we, they started painting on panels as well because monet hmm. and uh, more plein air painters were uh, you know concerned about the light yeah and they and used when, to paint outdoors yeah, in when like they one sitting outdoors on these kind of canvases the light would pass uh, from behind and would uh, give a sense of uncomfortable you know a vibe and it would uh, tamper their uh, practice yeah and those loose yeah loose and, so they started uh, using panels like panels is a very hmm. you know Uh, important yet not said okay, I see there's such involvement. a weird thing in like sergeant's paintings like if you like zoom in okay they are they feel like very impressionistic impressionistic like the brush strokes <laughs> like the weird abstract brush yeah, strokes yeah. but as a collective they like piece, sum it up the it everything looks, is summed up yeah when it's summed up it looks like uh, yeah, yeah. a realism there have been lots of realistic types painting. of realism and such realism you're talking about is basically termed by purist as abstract realism hmm. but it's a very um, conflicting uh, word to say you know abstract realism because abstraction hmm. comes in a you know but still if we go from a purist point of view hmm. if you if you paint a tree or hmm. if you paint a mountain it's already a, a huge step in uh, abst- abstracting the form of course you, know, you, you are paint you are putting such a big thing on a small piece of paper hmm. or canvas So I uh, still like talking about realism and its uh, lots of things like there is in contemporary very famous was you know like right now it's about um it was about hyperrealism and photorealism hmm. and before there was like a movement the american realism photorealism is new movement. yeah the photorealism has been there but hyperrealism is more contemporary you yeah, know hyperrealism yeah. involves creating subjects you know um, more superior to reality Yeah, you know, big vast canvases with tons of um, different techniques and approaches. Then there was, you know, uh, magic realism, you know, and yeah. more realism. If you talk about surrealism, it is a sort of realism in fall, like in a very heavy way. But in a surrealism, in a surreal way, in a surreal way. way. Yeah, and yeah, so that's how things have progressed in terms of medium. Okay. Excuse okay, you, you lost me. <laughs> There was <laughs> okay. <a. laughs> I was talking about the sergeants. Maybe. Yeah. So it's called. You said abstract realism. realism. Yeah. Not I said, but there are you know realist real uh, painters who deal with such things. Even They call it. I as. use that. I guess. Yeah, I have seen you work. Draw mix paint. He yeah, suggests he... to paint like that. He actually uses. He's a big fan. He seems a big fan of sergeant. Maybe. <laughs> it seems like because sergeant is a very loved character in yeah he's uh, between the uh, people who paints portraits and yeah of course uh, he's realism loved among the yeah, artists there are more you know uh, gerard richer he he has painted hyperrealism on um, hmm. uh, printed stuff so we in our times we are like in like contemporary art we are seeing almost every <laughs> we will always be in contemporary e- every art every art style yeah like we do see impressionism we And do you see you see every bit of thing there is a guy um there is a um a person who paints using spoons and he said it's spoonism <laughs> so you see every sort of thing you know here yeah what do you call your art movement husanism <laughs> what is husanism nothing husanism is me like husanism is this <laughs> me this body <laughs> okay, we'll take a short break now. Yeah. And we are actually tired. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Ye kya hai? <laughs> This is a medium. Okay. This is a medium which this I'm going a, to use. This is a performance art. No, I don't uh, agree to it. I and mean, now it's not. First time on the live television. <laughs> no, so uh, you're talking about mediums and 
our personal, you know, yeah, approaches. And this thing, you know, this I got it from somewhere actually. This was, you know, and now it's a medium for me. You know, I still have. This is nothing. I have more of it. Like this is like one third of or one fourth of you know the amount I have. Okay. Iska kya naam apne bola tha? Lanyards. Lanyards. And then you know about it's this. It's a full lanyard when yeah. you attach a car. Do you know about it. this famous piece? It's a famous piece. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be famous. So this is a medium, you know. This all. These are some of my most. How is this mediums. a medium? This. This is a now, medium. Yeah, this. I mean, the formal part of it is a medium. Of course, it is a medium. Every painting is a medium. Yeah, and this, if you put it as a piece of painting, you think about it. But like, organized in a way. Yeah. That. That looks so good. Yeah, I, I, I got a criticism around this work, and the guy said uh, that art is poor, you know, poor art. Uh, there was another junk art. Hmm. And I disagreed to it. I said, "How can a beautiful piece of bonsai be called as junk and poor?" It's bonsai. you know, yeah. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, let's talk about the different. Like it's amazing, like how different uh, art movements like influence other art styles. Yeah. For example, I was yesterday uh, watching a movie, The King's Speech. Okay. So in that movie, like each and every frame, it not each and every frame, like most of the frames, they felt like those impressionist paintings, okay, you know, cropped up. So that is a, a criticism from your side, or is it a mass? It's not a criticism. It's like how it's how formed. can it influence? Okay, so you relate. You're trying to intervene a relation no, there were like um, some frames like uh, yeah like cropped frames okay low frames mm-hmm. and the background uh, in some scenes uh, as it was a okay. impressionist yeah there have been uh, you know comparison of impressionism to other uh, factors like there is a huge study of impressionism and very uh, well known style in in the world of art you know everybody knows about impressionism hmm. like we don't have to point out its small strokes and, and not use of blacks they mix their own blacks they study lights and divisionism mm-hmm. and so it's a very common um you know a common um common you know uh, thing yeah and then there is you know then there is impressionist music as well mm-hmm. have you heard about but uh, no. there is um you know it's said it's more of uh, you know uh not impressionist it's more of on the romantic side but romanticism yeah and but it's called you know more it's named it was termed it <coughs> as impressionism then there is uh pictorialism you know a substitute uh, which made impressionism hmm. more of a thing post impressionism then there is post and Man-more. before it's neo and Uh, this is this all comes under you know the plural uh phase of impressionism how hmm. uh, the things in between happened you know pluralism is uh you know hmm. the in between phases hmm. like we had conceptualism hmm. then then we um had neo conceptualism hmm. and now we have we say it, you know post conceptual hmm. period hmm. like right now so that's how it progresses So yeah. right now we are doing like we are implementing each and every art style that is possibly out there. Like yeah, there is no set movement going on at the moment. So I wanted to, uh, to ask you. Like I was asked on Instagram no, actually, uh, few days ago. Yeah. Like if there is any art movement going on right now, and are you inspired with any of it? If there is. Any Bec- art movement uh, there going are on. several uh, forces and doctrines happening, lots of mimetics, you know, around. Hmm. But the thing is, uh, we cannot, uh, you know, justify or classify it under one any, uh, movement, a uh, one or a particular thing. Hmm. We can do it after like fifty, eighty, hundred years, not hundred, hundred is way too far. Like after twenty, thirty years, hmm. because we don't still have a conclusion point in the. 
you know the timeline of the current thing there is one more thing which is which i find very absurd and very interesting that is when you coin a term when okay. you name a movement a movement for example the yeah. word this impressionism okay. was coined by uh, one of the art critics okay he said like it's good and it's um, it's impressionism okay so it started a new whole new movement yeah. with the, just like naming it mm-hmm. so like this is really interesting like how a name like holds a philosophy just a single name yeah it can you know progress and i think it's called most. euphemism okay yeah, it is this is the proper word for yeah. it euphemism <laughs> when like you can't say like something directly but you name things in a way which describes the whole process whole like process these whole... isms like they are a good example of euphemism okay how we like yeah. um, name things and how it holds the how whole it, philosophy how uh, it progresses you know so for, for now i feel like we don't have names yet we don't have names there are you know if there are like names coined we have you know algorithms and data and you know <laughs> such things but there is no specific you know uh, coin stuff at hmm. the moment hmm. like if you travel to like 20 years back we can still relate to you know comic art photorealism hyperrealism mm. you know, such thing so it will take a bit of time to know mm. about today like to, to do is uh, to do is another thing but to you know um, the whole thing to be documented takes a while like this thing this is the thing we're doing is a present thing but mm. everything to be concluded would take like another week or two for us to upload it on uh the other mediums like on like mm. on what are we uploading like probably on youtube and spotify yeah. spotify, spotify and maybe tribal. google podcast so i yeah, don't it know takes, anything about you know, that yet certain but... amount of time to be you know that finished that mm. concrete to mm. put it into a rational uh, time or is it like when a new movement starts the old ones are like a become... little bit popularized <laughs> Like this is Depends. what happens when a Depends. person dies he's more yeah. popular Depends. <laughs> after his death Like there are if we take our, our local scene we have certain figurative artists impressionist painters mm. So they are famed for it like in India we have cubists Yeah we have lots of cubists painters Like um you know I will have to get into Indian art then <laughs> you no, know it's no, a whole no, another yeah. it's a it's a different we will yeah. discuss MFSA that later and, and, No yeah, it's a the that progressive group in Mumbai it's a completely Mumbai different and, thing indian art is not different but uh, you know different in a different way you know different in a different way differentiated and it was yeah made it was uh, they tried to make it similar in a different way but indian janta ke liye yeah, not indian janta we'll talk about that we'll talk about <laughs> yeah, we'll that yeah we'll talk we'll have a yeah it's a whole different you know hmm. distraction i would say Hmm. this these words so yeah so by the way justin bieber fans are called bleebers believers bleebers bleebers yeah bleebers okay so he named them yeah now it's a different thing yeah you're not a justin bieber just a justin bieber fan you are a bleeber believer <laughs> okay <laughs> see how just simply just naming yeah. it how much uh, like it creates an impact yeah there is just giving it a name psychological um Uh, anthropology behind all those things like there is a thing uh, like there is a um, store here hmm who kya karta hai nariyal deta hai after we buy grocery from a store hmm and now look at the post happening because of that uh, thing he gives along with the, the you know the formal things to jo nariyal de deta hai to be have that connected you know uh we build certain data and certain algorithm nariyal you know vasla hai saman we are we it creates more you know uh, utility on that mm-hmm. certain basis to ye kal baat karte hain meri family mein baat ho raha tha actually i went to that store and bought certain goods so yeah mm-hmm. so it's all about uh, certain you know uh, happenings and certain yeah, this is weird there are some things which are like <laughs> not weird everything is you know answered everything is has answers maybe we are not able to you know uh justify it 
or justify it or comprehend it yeah <laughs> any anything so that is so coming it. back to our <laughs> mediums <laughs> coming back to we, our we podcast just, we get <laughs> distracted we get distracted it's about distraction there's a lot of distraction be ready so, to be distracted if you're coming so here. we were talking about art movements okay <laughs> we were talking about me and my mediums my contemporary mediums my current mediums <laughs> i was like kuch garbad hai yeah people will be like kya hai yeah we, i have i must be having more mediums you know hmm. this this mannequin you know this hmm. is a medium medium of uh, medium knowledge of mediums <laughs> maybe medium of um, knowing things medium of attainment you know hmm. you learn about anatomy you know this is uh, i don't learn anatomy Uh, let it be <laughs> whosoever does it so there is you and then there is this you can use you know hmm. uh, see through things see for things using such things such objects and there have been such more mediums like uh, i have hundreds of brushes here i have fan brushes and flats and rounds and different brushes Mm. and every brush has is a medium in itself you know every brush has would provide a different experience mm. just as you know a performance would provide a different experience and mm. uh, a painting would um seduce you in a, you in a, another way mm. so that's how you know mm. mediums go along okay so let's talk about the present uh, art mediums we have like for example let, let's talk about a uh, uh, different stuff now let's talk about you are coming back of, to the same thing no let's talk about like, <laughs> like bit of advice is now like uh, i want to get into painting okay what is the first medium you would suggest to go with apart I from would, pencil i would suggest um, ac- acrylics why because it's or poster colors like it's very general. i started with poster colors. yeah everybody does <laughs> Uh, bachpan mein it's like you know like if you, if i say painting the first medium um, i had was you know wo sketch pens you know ha huh. sketch pens that, colors that can be considered as a painting medium you know mm. rather than a you know, uh, drafting colors. medium I, still i try them like for the composition yeah. and mm. you know, the color scheme if you want to matlab get a rough idea so yeah that's so. how you you know progress you learn primary colors it's mm. basic uh, knowledge oils is a bit like Uh, difficult to handle in case of it's, the turpentine you should have a open yeah, if space. you know if you know uh, it's There one are of the rules. most easiest it is know? easiest when yeah. applied but when mixed it is a bit it can be a bit messy yeah messy yeah. it's like unhealthy. poisonous <laughs> and zahirila zahirila like there are like issues with that yo <laughs> and then comes the watercolor watercolor is a good Yeah, they're hard. I don't think like without any good amount of training you can learn that. You just have to, you know, work and work along. You need to learn. You need to be like I need to learn from someone at least. <laughs> I tried on my own, but okay. I'm not I know that I am bad. <laughs> <laughs> I also know that I am bad. <laughs> When I like paint with oils, I know where I can want to go, where it, I where I want to go, how how to but work. But what yeah. I I am like yeah, I know. What this. about your body like? Have you ever made yourself do and go to a place you wanted to go? Like using your own self. Acha. Huh? Fair. <laughs> Or what about Uh, using uh, materials like wood, uh, metals, rocks to create basic installations or sculptures, you know. Let's stick to the painting for now. <laughs> okay, we will. We will. <laughs> There are many mediums. Yeah. But we were talking about the beginners. Yeah. You said acrylic. So you know, yeah. Uh, uh, I would agree with I'll, acrylic because it's e- I think easier to handle and yeah. like dries fast, fast and. You know. you need water it's not you messy need, not poisonous you need poisons you know <laughs> child's play thing yeah. and newspaper is a good medium what do you say what newspapers television news channels yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i want to talk about pens okay like why don't we consider like 
ball point pens like it really is good. a medium why why not it should be like i feel it is like underrated because we have been drawing all our lives like writing with ball point pens gel yeah. pens actually and, but the other thing which uh, came we um, tend to avoid them when we draw something yeah, yeah. no the thing which uh, may, uh, was more um kingsley then pen was words you know hmm. what comes after ballpoint pen is words and creation of literary arts hmm. you know poetry uh, you know of fiction course. so that's how pens have been you it know has a, shadows it has a different place like yeah. <laughs> you are there for poetry and a yeah. different style of art but there is a guy i think his name is alfonso alfonso he has written a book on how to paint or draw with ballpoint Ball, pens yeah there are there are hyperrealist works done in ball using ball pens and stuff yeah. you know yeah they but it's not that popular yeah who knows ink pens are popular i use yeah, them ink ink they are very good actually for ball ball is a draft is a recent you know ball uh, pigment ballpoint pen the ink mm. is a recent discovery you know? yeah and inks and gels have been there So it mm. takes uh, these uh, classical uh, philosophies and but uh, such pens practices. are very good now we yeah. have brush pens yeah, i well. have a brush pen you know this is, mm. this is i have every sort of brush yeah made up as yeah leave leave this hello yeah you put water in this and paint yeah you put food from this and i want Then. to yaar if tyar kab hoga i am really eager you know So yeah, anything else we should talk about? Yeah, we should talk about iftar now. Kya <laughs> kya? How do you? I want to know about Kashmiri and the I way they do. I want to know about iftar. I've heard you you uh, go am, go with bath bath. Cause I am hungry. I want bath. <laughs>